My name is Diana. I'm one of the residents here, the neurosurgery residents at UCLA. I grew up in Pasadena, uh, about 45 minutes from here. I went to undergrad at Northwestern University where I uh, majored in art as well as uh, biology as a focus in neuroscience. And then I won a scholarship to go to uh, Beijing on a Yenching scholarship as a fellow there. and. It was a year in which I did a master's in economics and really just an incredible opportunity to meet uh, really brilliant, talented people from all around the world. And after that, I went to medical school at UCSF uh, where I did a second master's in health economics this time at Berkeley. And then now I'm here. I would say my, my dad really believed that sports can teach uh, a lot of values, winning, losing especially. Um, challenges and so I played a lot of sports growing up. I uh, really ended up focusing on swimming. I was a very competitive swimmer and uh, ended up adding water polo into that later on. So with any free chance I get I'm going to be running, swimming, um, playing whatever sport anyone else wants to play. Always down, always game. I'm Ashlyn. I'm a resident here at UCLA. Um, I'm originally from upstate New York. Uh, went to college at Cornell University um, and then medical school and a master's at Mount Sinai in New York. Um, and now I'm lucky to be here at UCLA for residency. Uh, growing up, I was a competitive figure skater um, and had the great opportunity to continue that in college and you know, both compete as a member of the team and then also coach the team, which um, was a really fun experience and also just a great learning experience as well. In my free time in LA, I, you know, I'm a huge foodie. I love um, cooking. I love going out to different restaurants in LA, still trying to explore uh, so many different restaurants in the city. Uh, I also really love traveling whenever I get the chance to. Uh, one of my favorite trips has been to San Sebastian in Northern Spain. Um, has some of the most amazing food that I've ever had. My advice for anyone going through this process is to look for a training program uh, where you can really see yourself uh, where you get along with the people, where you can see yourself thriving. I think that um, is ultimately really important. Um, and it's definitely something that I took to heart when I was thinking of a training program. And at the end of the day, I could really just see myself at UCLA, um, could see myself with the people here in this program. I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to train here. Hi, my name is Chantal Real. I'm a resident here at UCLA. I went to UCSF Medical School and Georgetown University for college where I studied psychology and neuroscience. I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago, but immigrated to the United States during high school to the Maryland DC area. As a child, I played soccer. Um, my position was goalkeeper and I ran track and field with my primary race being the 800 meter. A fun fact about me is I was born on a leap year, so technically I'm only seven years old. My favorite place that I've visited is Madrid, Spain. I'm a real Madrid fan, so it was especially exciting. My most important advice for future applicants is to be true to yourself in your application. Don't apply trying to you know, tell programs what you think they want to hear. Be yourself and make sure that's aligned in everything you present. Hi, I'm Shivani. I'm one of the residents here at UCLA. I um, actually grew up, first I was born in India, and then I lived in Australia for a little while, and then in the Middle East, and then finally ended up in Atlanta, which is home now. For undergrad, I went to Stanford, and then I went to Northwestern for medical school, and now I'm here for residency. I became interested in neurosurgery because I did a lot of neuroscience research back in undergrad, and I think that really informed my desire to do something neuro-related, and then I became very interested in surgery during medical school, so that's what led me here today. All right, so thinking back to myself in med school, if I had to give myself some advice from where I am today, I think the biggest thing would be to be really open-minded when you first start in school. I think I went in very, very sure of what I wanted to do, but I do think it's important to come in and look at all of your rotations and all of the options in front of you and really take it as an opportunity to learn and explore and discover what every specialty is like. I think something I wish I'd done more was talk to the residents and attendings and really think about what life outside of residency is like once you're done and what your options are beyond residency for any given specialty. And then I think as you're applying, the biggest thing you can do for yourself is really think about the place and whether it's a place that you want to live in long term and how you would fit into that place and not just the program. There are a lot of great programs out there and all of them cater to different things, so it's going to be 
very much what you want from the program and how that fits. The thing too about the place, what kind of support you have, um, who would be there for you to help you out when you're going through some hard days in residency, um, and you know, integrate all of that when you're thinking about where to go next. I'm Matiar Jafari. I grew up in Pasadena, California. I went to the University of California, Irvine for undergrad. And uh, then I came here to UCLA for medical school uh, and the MSDP program. And I did my PhD at Caltech where I investigated brain machine interfaces. And I couldn't be happier to be here at UCLA in the neurosurgery residency program. I uh, used to think I wanted to be a professional golfer. Deep down inside, I, I still do. Um, I tried out for the golf team uh, in college and I uh, still like to continue to play golf. Uh, my favorite place uh, that I've, I've traveled to over the course of uh, these 30 plus years of being here is uh, the south of France, going to Monaco and seeing the F1 racetrack and all of the legendary stories of Ayrton Senna and all the F1 drivers that preceded and came after him. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place and with so much history. My advice for, uh, for future applicants is uh, one that has always rung true to me throughout my, my years of uh, MD-PhD as well as now in neurosurgery residency is find a place where uh, you have the most opportunities to grow, uh, most opportunities to improve your skills, and a place where you will enjoy your time because if you're not enjoying your time, it uh, becomes much more difficult to grow as an individual as well as in your career. Uh, hi there, I'm Peter Wu. I'm one of the residents here at UCLA. Uh, I was born and raised in Manhattan, New York. Uh, stayed there up until college where I went to Johns Hopkins. Then I came back to New York to spend a year working at Rockefeller University doing some research into neuronal migration in the cerebellum before going to medical school at Columbia. Um, spent five years there, including a, a research year with Dr. Bruce, looking at uh, various aspects of brain tumor research, uh, including imaging studies, as well as some um, new chemotherapeutic regimens for glioblastoma. And now I'm here at UCLA and really enjoying my time. Fun fact about me, I was a pretty competitive squash player growing up, uh, which is sort of similar to racquetball, except the ball is smaller and bounces less. Uh, I played all throughout high school, and then I was the captain of our team in college. Um, and continue to play here because thankfully our rec center actually has a few courts. I think you should make sure that you find a program that's a, a really great fit for you where you're going to get along well with uh, with your colleagues, not just outside of work, but also in the hospital. You're going to get along well and, and function well with them. Um, and you should pick a place that's kind of in line with your career goals. You know, if you want to go to to become an academic neurosurgeon, you should go to a, a program that's going to allow you to do that, such as UCLA. Hi, my name is Yamwar. I'm originally from Turkey, um, grew up mostly on the East Coast, but then um, came, came out West. I used to do a ton of performing arts, um, performing in theater and musical theater, which a little bit less time to do that now, but I certainly um, love that environment and vibe, especially in, in the greater LA area. The performing arts, especially getting into a character and, and performing it well every single night, was a lot about understanding the human story, um, getting to understand someone different than yourself, but similar in certain ways. And I think um, something I think about every single day with the amazing diversity of patients with whom we work are the different stories that these patients bring and how um, perhaps their neurosurgical pathology has impacted their story, their life. We have two kitties and one lizard. Uh, the kitties usually get along. It took some time for that to happen, um, but they are both like fascinated by our bearded lizard. Um, she kind of she kind of runs the house. One of the reasons I really love the program at UCLA was getting to meet all of the faculty and residents uh, during the interview day. And it was such an amazing group of distinct personalities and really fun individuals and I thought the residents here were um, among the happiest and friendliest and warmest that I had met on the interview trail. Hi, my name is Shil Shah. I went to medical school here and I guess I decided to stick around. Um, also did my PhD over at Caltech in molecular biology. Um, outside of neurosurgery, I like to play golf. Uh, there's a bunch of really nice golf courses around here and uh, it's a good way to take advantage of the amazing weather we have in LA. And I also like to 
get into a little bit of surfing out here, kind of picked that up during medical school. Um, we live, we're really close to Santa Monica Beach here, and so you can just pop out there in the morning um, if you have a day off and uh, catch a couple waves. Uh, grew up in North Carolina, a uh, big UNC Tar Heel basketball fan. Um, grew up a huge fan of Michael Jordan. Uh, went to UNC for undergrad. Um, still follow the basketball team pretty religiously. Try to catch every game I can on TV. Um, go Tar Heels. I'm a big fan of uh, Thai food. There's tons of that around here. Uh, pad Thai with tofu. I'm a vegetarian. Uh, so pad Thai with tofu is kind of my go-to dish. Uh, one thing I haven't done in LA is uh, ski. They say you can surf and ski here in the same day. I've done the surfing part. Uh, I haven't gone out to like Big Bear or something to get some snowboarding in. So that's kind of on the list of uh, things to do in LA that I still need to still need to check off. Hi, I'm Zoe Teton. So I am originally from Santa Barbara, so near near to here. Um, I moved to Portland right before, my family moved to Portland right before I went to high school. Um, and then I came back down to Santa Barbara actually for undergrad. Uh, I went to UC Santa Barbara and studied biopsychology there. Um, actually, it's where I discovered my love of the brain because all the upper division courses are neuroscience. Um, and then went back up to Portland um, for medical school and now I'm back here in California. Personally, I'm at my absolute happiest when I'm um, doing pretty much anything outdoors, um, preferably something active in the sunshine. Um, I absolutely love to run. I ran one marathon during my research year and it's something that I'm hoping to uh, get back to potentially during residency, we'll see. Uh, I'd say the only sad part about residency so far is that my apartment doesn't allow me to have pets. I'm a big animal lover and um, not having a dog has been a struggle. I think my most recently adopted um, uh, hobbies were born out of being stuck in quarantine, which were uh, cooking for the first time in my life, P pick that up, um, and gardening. So I have a big indoor plant collection. I've covered my balcony with plants. Um, and that's been kind of some of my favorite things to do. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Joshua Casals. I go by Josh. Born and raised in Idaho, actually in a small town of about, uh, I actually went to high, uh, high school with a senior class of 60, 60 seniors. Um, grew up in Idaho, uh, around potatoes and farming country. Uh, I was gonna be a mechanic uh, growing up and uh, probably would have been, but life has a funny way of uh, changing uh, course every now and then. I grew, went to Boise State University and I spent a year in Chicago uh, before making my way to the East Coast uh, for medical school. And I uh, was lucky enough to uh, be on the East Coast and explore kind of that area for four years. Um, and then was able to come back here uh, to the West Coast uh, where it's sunny. My favorite foods, uh, really down for anything, not picky, um, but I would say in terms of cooking, I always try to replicate some of the recipes that, that um, my mom or family make. Um, they're Hispanic and a lot of Mexican food. But one of the things I'm most proud of is actually replicating a uh, mole from Oaxaca, where my dad is from. It's essentially mole is like a curry, the way I think about it. And it's got probably 15 to 20 different ingredients, including eight different types of chilies. At the end of the day, you get um, a simple paste that carries all the flavor. And you, you serve this on top of chicken that's just, you know, flavorless chicken, whether it's boiled or char-boiled, um, and rice. And it really, the heart of that dish is the, the mole, and it really brings everything together. So that's probably, I made that once, smoked my apartment making it, and but that's what I'm most proud of. Hi, I'm TJ, originally from uh, Northern California. Things that uh, I like to do for fun when I'm not in the hospital, uh, I really like to cook, um, really like to exercise, go for runs. Yeah, so I, my, I grew up with, with a mother who was an amazing cook, um, it was a big Italian family, and uh, a lot of what I cook are the, the meals that she used to cook when I when, uh, when, uh, lived at home. Like, reminds me of home. So I have like this uh, uh, pasta sauce recipe that you know my Nana passed down from her mom, etc. I got really into bread making this year, kind of like a lot of people, into sourdough bread. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I think the best Star Wars movie is uh, 
is uh, Empire Strikes Back, although it's kind of the standard answer. Hello, my name is Maya. I'm originally from Israel, where I lived until I was 12. And then I moved to the Netherlands, to Amsterdam, uh, where I went to middle school and high school. I then came to the U.S. for college and stayed uh, on the East Coast for college and uh, med school. Then coming here for residency. I'm presently playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox when I have the time. It's good for the, you know, hand-eye coordination. I am a big film and TV buff. Uh, I think my favorite movie is probably Kill Bill Volume 2. I like to cook. I have a cat at home. I love both Kill Bill 1 and 2. And I like 2 more than 1 because of the... Um, this chapter where she's training under her sensei. I think that's like one of the best chapters in the whole uh, two movies. The, what is it called? The Cruel Tutelage of Pai Mei. It's the name of the chapter. I guess that is a little bit like nursery residency, that, uh, I, although not so cruel, I would say. Uh, not so cruel, but very goal-directed and um, trying to push her to her limit to make her reach her potential. I guess that's how it, uh, the parallels lie. Hi, my name is Jason. I was born in South Korea and I moved to Canada. I grew up there uh, for 10 years and then went to college in California and vet school in Pittsburgh and now I'm here. Um, I've moved around a lot, but I think probably LA is my favorite place to live. I like to make cocktails. I make drinks. Um, my favorite drink is a, a Boulevardier, which consists of a bourbon, Campari, sweet vermouth. What I like about making cocktails is the creativity that you can have. Um, you sort of invest in one ingredient um, then you can use to make a certain type of cocktail. And now with that under your belt, you can try to figure out how else you can mix with other different things to make another drink that isn't made before or you can't find on internet. Um, so I, I like that flexibility and creativity of mixology. I play the cello as well. Um, I've talked about playing the cello with um, Matt Sun, uh, Dr. Anthony Wong. Um, he, they play the violin and maybe we should get together and do some kind of quartet or something like that, but it's still still in the works, I guess. Hello everyone, my name's Milan Samaraj. I was born in Sri Lanka. Um, I grew up partly in Sri Lanka for about four years and um, then uh, also in England. Um, I did most of my schooling in Sri Lanka, but then went back to England for my high school. Um, I also studied medicine in London, in England. Um, I did my internship in Scotland where I met my wife. Uh, I started my neurosurgical training in England as well and did three years uh, before I had the wonderful opportunity to come over uh, to America to continue my neurosurgical training. Having had a slightly unorthodox journey in neurosurgery, um, coming here to the UCLA program has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm so lucky to be surrounded by amazing colleagues and amazing mentors um, and LA really is uh, a wonderful place uh, in the world to live in. If you, like myself, enjoy more kind of hiking and mountain activities, camping, that sort of thing, uh, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of stuff to do uh, around, around LA as well. Um, so I think it's going to be seven years of exploring and finding new things. Um, I don't think anyone's going to be bored. Hi, I'm Ben Jui. I grew up here in LA, so I spend a lot of time with my family. Um, I see them a lot of times during the week. On my free time, um, I love uh, running, eating. Um, my fiance and I love traveling, so one of our biggest uh, kind of goals of uh, each of our trips is to decide what and where to eat. So yeah, me and my fiance uh, we recently just got engaged. We both, during coronavirus, uh, got a dog. That's a seven-month-old corgi. We love uh, taking care of our little Corgi Nori. Um, she's wonderful, handful, but uh, still a cute little puppy. Growing up in LA, um, I am a big fan of basketball. Being at UCLA, we, we love the Lakers. So, uh, you know, go Lakers. Well, after my first year of residency, uh, I went to Barcelona and I actually got engaged in Barcelona. Um, 
It was a wonderful experience. I'm Joe, uh, and this is Oliver. He joined the program in 2018. Before residency, uh, I did a PhD in basic neuroscience, and I'm excited about translating that to functional neurosurgery, human electrophysiology, uh, and brain-computer interface. Oliver didn't do a PhD. Uh, his primary interests are trucks, dinosaurs, and complex spine. We both wanted to tell you that uh, UCLA is a program with a family feel, and this is a place where uh, people like working with each other and where people are gonna be excited about your success inside the OR and outside the OR. Uh, we've really loved our time here um, and hope you'll think about joining us. Oliver right now um, is uh, into cars. And also, he really likes this thing called Blippi that most of your viewers haven't heard of, I hope but he also likes long, unedited YouTube videos of uh, steam train footage. So I went to med school in, in Boston um, uh, and I did a PhD there too. Um, I met my wife there. Uh, we got married uh, basically right, uh, right after the match. Um, we have two kids, Oliver is, is two and we have a baby, a Penelope, who's five months. But you want the cerebellum back? Can you put that back together? Oliver, do you want to say anything about garbage trucks? He, he really won't talk to you in, until you've gotten imaging. Can you give me five? Hi, I'm Sophie Peters. I'm originally from Belgium, um, but grew up all over the world. I love to travel and learn new languages. I uh, speak fluent French, Flemish, and Spanish. Um, I also really enjoy the outdoors, uh, which LA is not lacking. We're kind of spoiled in that way, um, whether it's hiking, you know, backpacking, biking, trail running, or even picked up surfing during residency. I've run four marathons total, um, two during residency. I actually qualified for the Boston Marathon last year uh, while on the run course um, with my co-residents cheering me on and picking me up at the finish line. Um, so that was quite a, a special experience. Um, I will say, you know, at UCLA, we are incredibly close to our, our class. Um, and part of that is because of the structure of our, our second year and you very early on find um, true friendships in, in your co-residents. So when joining uh, UCLA, I, um, I had the idea of, of kind of mirroring the softball tournament that occurs every year on the East Coast and thought, you know, that we needed a similar event on this side of the country. And so we put together this large beach volleyball tournament initially with just a couple programs, local programs, and then um, it quickly grew uh, over a couple years, including programs all the way up from, uh, from OHSU, Stanford came down, um, and then uh, of course our local neighbors uh, all the way down to San Diego. Uh, my name is Fired Wilson. I would say I'm from San Francisco, but truth is I'm kind of from uh, all over the place and nowhere at the same time. Uh, I was born in New York, uh, lived there for just a few years, then moved to Connecticut for a few years. Uh, and then because of my dad's job, we moved overseas to Paris for three years, then Wimbledon, England for five years. We moved back to San Francisco, which is home for us now. Then I went to college in Philadelphia, worked in Virginia uh, for two years as a teacher, then ended up in San Diego for medical school, and now I'm finally here. So. Dr. Bergschneider actually asked a group of us on our applicant or on our interview um, what our favorite movie was, and we were it was in sort of the after interview social hour that we do typically on a normal year. And I was like at the end of the circle, so every applicant got a chance to list their movie, and everyone was like, you know, Saving Private Ryan or Schindler's List or you know something very serious. And um, my favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber. And I was wondering the whole time if I should be honest about that or if I should say something like, you know, um, Goodwill Hunting or Forrest Gump. I went, with, uh, I went with Dumb and Dumber and I matched here. So he didn't hold it against me. Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm originally from Austin, Texas. After I grew up there, I ended up going to USC for undergrad. Um, I got my bachelor's and my master's there in engineering. Really liked neuroengineering. Um, really liked the brain in general and all the pathology associated with it. Um, and then I went off to Harvard for medical school, came back here to LA, and uh, now I'm here at UCLA. The beaches here are phenomenal and it's really nice. You're really 
busy as a neurosurgery resident, but there's still a surprising amount of time to do other things. It's, uh, it's surprising how many hours you can squeeze out of the day, I think, and you, you really learn to, to do that once you're in residency. I think, you know, if you ended up coming here, what I love about these people is that they feel like my family. I would be, I guess, your big sister, your mom. I don't know, hopefully more like your big sister who came here. I enjoy coming to work. It's the first time when a lot of us have really been in a, a professional work environment. You know, we've been going to school for so many years and um, it's it's one thing to sit in a class and to, to learn about these things. It's a completely separate beast to go into an environment and have to learn a ton still, but then also be this young professional. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Azim Laiwala. I was born and raised in Fremont, California before coming to UCLA. Uh, I had the fortune of doing my undergrad and graduate studies here. Um, I knew before coming that I wanted to join this program because of the people, quite frankly. Um, the, the faculty here, the residents here have, are essentially family and uh, it's what made this program my highlight. Uh, when I'm not with this family, I'm out at the beach, running, working out. Uh, my favorite pastime is actually carpentry, making furniture. I also love going out to new restaurants. Um, LA has a, a wide range of uh, culinary tastes, uh, cool restaurants, anything that you can dream in this city. You, and you could find anywhere, anything you could dream in this world, you can find in this city. Um, you're a mile away from the beach or a few miles away from the beach, you're an hour away from the mountains, all of which you have the time and the luxury of, of, of enjoying when you're taking your much needed breaks here. Hi, my name is Kunal Patel. I grew up actually a few uh, uh, miles south of Los Angeles in Orange County um, uh, and uh, traveled to the East Coast for school. Um, and finally got a chance to come back uh, for a residency and it really has been great. My family lives here uh, obviously still. My brother is actually a resident here at UCLA too and it's great to hang out with him. Uh, other than that, uh, I kind of uh, love uh, doing things uh, here in LA. LA is my favorite city in the United States. Um, I lived in uh, obviously in Orange County. I lived uh, in the New England area and then lived in New York for several years during training and school and stuff. But Los Angeles is great from food to sports to um, uh, outdoor activities to the beach obviously and more importantly uh, the diversity of people, the diversity of cuisines and diversity of lifestyles that you see here in the city is really really interesting and the diversity of lifestyles you see here in this residency is really really interesting. Thing. Um, I want to thank you for taking a, a look at UCLA neurosurgery. I am really excited to uh, have you guys check this program out. Mm -hmm.